Blastia's been making some weird noises. It's charging up air. It won't be able to fire again for a while. If we hurry up and sneak past, the enemy will be utterly helpless. You don't seriously think that, do you? It's the Royal Guard! From the other side, too. We're surrounded? We need to stand firm and hold out. Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Taka, take Take that! Baby, all my love. Guess what? Get out of here. You're gone. This wasn't the Australian angels grant us your favor. Come on, wind. Knock him around and cut him down. Windblade. All my heart, baby. All my love. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Knock him around and cut him down. Windblade. You're gone. All my love, baby. All right. Here we go. Zoning out. I'm sorry. Patty, maybe you should have stayed. I. F enough with the indecision and grumbling. We've come this far, haven't we? We're all friends here. Friends? My. It's not every day we get to hear you say such sweet things, Rita. Sh shut up. Come on. We have to stop that Hoplon Blastia. Okay, okay. You all heard the lady. Patty, what are you doing? Do you want to get left behind? No, after all... I'm just getting started. Let's 
eliminate them. Ha, ha, dragon! Uh, come here! Oh, Din of this cut is so right. Star Blast! Angel Ring! Ha, ha. Oh, incandescent ha, ha. Marcus! Dragon I'm gonna the vulgar before me! Spiral the power the time! That's over. Now. This ain't a bad strategy either. Come on, wind. Knock him around and cut him down. Oh, oh, right oh, oh, angel oh, ring. Get out of here. Come on, wind. Knock him around and cut him down. Come on, wind. All my heart, baby. All my love. Get out of here. Our weapons are love. Justice. Sexuality. Would you stop? But you're going bye bye. Tow, dragon! Come on, wind. Not Tow, power that tries down. so Tow, shut down. Down. Tow, Tow, So, yeah, just. Man, all right, let's go. Ta ha! Dragon, all my heart, baby, ha all my love. Destruction. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. All right, who's next? And crush the evil before me. Ha! 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 
longer before me. Photon! A blade of no light angels over even indestructible evil. Blade roll! I'm just getting... Struck the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Dragon Swarm and another Caprice. Oh, 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 You're gonna win. Behold, this is power. No way. Thy undefiled purity. And another. How does it look, Re Just like I thought. This formula is protect- Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, did not- This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this! Okay, I'll leave this to you guys! And where are you off to, Cal? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Well then, I'll come along and help out. I'm going too. It looks like Patty's cheer- I hope so. And you know, the guy's enthusiasm actually kind of scares me. It's Yuri's influence. I guess the rest of us will stay here for now. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Looks like it'll be a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. Ah! The Knights have come back! We've got to hold our ground here. Leave it to me! Well then, here come the riffraff. This will be painful. They're just waiting for us to get tired. Rita, I shall defend this place. Hit ring! Take this! Take this! Take this! Take this! Take this! Shiny ring! Take this! Come on, wind! Cover me, would ya? Alright, I'm on it! This wasn't supposed to win! Knock him around! Cut him down! Just grant us your favor! Just my heart, baby! All my love! Nurse! Destroy your rock! That was awesome! Rita! What are you... We have to destroy him! You... Rita! We're out of time! You can't possibly... Rita! Can't possibly what? Do you have no faith it succeed or die trying, wasn't it? We won't give in! I... You guys... I will! And just so you know... <sighs> oh, hell. Guess I'll give it all I got, too. Are you joining the Shining Youth Brigade or something? Looks that way. Uh, 
I'm gonna do it! This looks like it'll be a long fight! Don't let your focus slip! Ow! You're pretty tough. Get out of here! Crushing eagle! This wasn't supposed to happen. Holy power comes to me! I'm finished. Take this! Arise! Arise! Away from the world! Stop! Dragon Eagle! Get out of here! This wasn't... We can't let anyone through. through. The knights are pulling back! Why? Because the Blastia stopped? Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Now we've kept our promise to Tord. You... Okay. has opened. That is Miorzo, homeland of the Christian people. It's definitely impressive. It's as unexpected as a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea. Looks like they won't keep it open for as very long. We should hurry. Foul! A flying city. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's a floating jellyfish. It's an Antilochea, though not one I've spoken to. An Antilochea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter. Now this is a surprise. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not pol- How are such children as yourselves able to come here? She's talking about you, Patty. Mm -hmm. You too, Rita. Is this monster an Entelikea, perhaps? It's Baul. Oh, you're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. Okay, so they're a bit weird. That's actually called rude. You're one to talk, Rita. All Critchens are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists. The Critchians who live on the surface are like that too. Living together with humans, the Critchians on the surface have lost some of their naivete. So is the Elder like that too? 
How should I put it? He's the... Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. This should be interesting. The Gridians are different than I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. I mean, come on! So that's what the two of you were looking forward to? How juvenile. What are you looking at me for? I was talking about our personality. Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? I'd like to ask the same thing, Yuri. It's you. Ah, man. there'd be a city in a place like this. There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Mrs. Stell. Really, that would be nice, but... It's not working! It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is... Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm, I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing Apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it. Cores are made from crushed Apatheia? Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears Apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it. And thus, its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah. The apatheia that comes from Entelikea, who is necessary to make the very Blastia that they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times, and if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there! Where are you going? 
I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. <sighs> Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelakea. It looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's House is a large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Patty, we're leaving. Oh yeah, I'm... You used to live in Murzo, Judy? Yeah, when I was a kid. What sort of kid were you? A little shy and overindulged, maybe? A little shy? That's hard to picture. <laughs> it is beyond imagining, isn't it? Everyone told me I was a strange child. Yes, I can see that. A child being called strange by strange people. She must have been Judy-like since she was little. I'd like to ask you all exactly what that means to each of you.
Do you think we should really just go in? He's the one who told us to wait for him here. I guess the Critians really are different. They don't seem to be in any great rush to get things done, that's for sure. I know, they certainly are weird, aren't they? Actually, you're kind of... That's funny, I don't see that at all. Seems like Patty'd fit right in here, too. Hmm, might be... Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I've kept you waiting. Now, please, step this way, if you will. Huh? This is the very means by which the lore of Miorzo is passed on. But, uh, it's just a wall. Judith, use the Nagig as you touch the wall, and repeat these words. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension? What's happening? Whoa! So the Nagik can do this kind of stuff, too. You know about the Nagig. Through its power and the secret phrase handed down, the wall's true form is revealed. Th this painting is kind of creepy. The Kritya, stewards of wisdom, founders of the mighty Garaios and ancient sages, our misbegotten wisdom has sown only the seeds of ruin. The Blastia we created granted us blessings, but also blighted the air, lifeblood of this world. Then Rita was right. There were disturbances in the air in the past. You think this is showing a disturbance in the air? It looks more like the air is trying to eat the planet. Hmm. It is said that a great mass of air threatened to swallow the very planet whole. The blight grew ever stronger and brought forth a cataclysm. In our terror, we gave a name to the cataclysm. The Adafagos. Adafagos? The world united to challenge the Adafagos and banish the loathsome power which created it. Hey... Could that be the end to Lakea? It does look a bit like monsters and humans fighting something off together. Though the Garayo civilization was lost, the Autophagos was quelled in the end. The fact that we are all still here today is evidence enough of that. So then, is this painting showing the Autophagos being brought under control? What is that? It looks like a large ring. What is that? I can't say. I've wondered that myself. Hey, what's the last thing it says there? Judy? Hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the child of the full moon. The Atafagos disappeared into the void. What? The world's prayers. Life faded from the children of the full moon. Our world was preserved. But the story shall remain here for generations to tell of our sin. 240th year of Asul. What's that supposed to mean? There is no further explanation of what each of these phrases may mean. Our ancestors created the Blastia, which led to the downfall of their entire civilization. They then chose to abandon the Blastia and sever their ties with the outside world. Estelle! Let her go. This is all the lore of Miorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic... I think we'll pass. Could we trouble you for a place... I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. You are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Everything the Elder said is true, isn't it? His interpretation of the murals might not be perfect, but with all he told us, it was very convincing. We knew this was a global problem once we talked to Pharaoh. He granted us time because he knew how we would react when we saw this. He probably wanted to show us humanity ain't cut out to handle the situation. And to make us give up on Estelle. So everything's just going according to Pharaoh's plan then? I will not let that happen. Never. I won't give up on her. The Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, 
then maybe the power of the child of the full moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the autophago. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the children of the full moon part? Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the autophagos. But, but w aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? The elders said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're you. Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same, and formulas need air to work. The Hermes Technique, the Children of the Full Moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, the Autophagos will awaken. And that's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Murzo did? Aye. We should toss every Blastia in the trash. Gotta That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia too. Yeah, you're right. So, it's... I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah. I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about it, but I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata formula. What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but if you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the autophagos. Awesome! Hmm. Sounds difficult, but I... So, we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle? Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven... For a walk. All this talk about... Sa this conversation's a little much for old... That formula sounds nice and all... Yeah. For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to fight them. That's kind of up to them. Blastia's work. This one is fitted with a cold. Something's written here. So, in other words, someone you. It looks that way. Didn't they get rid of all the Blastia here? Yes. At least that's how it should be. Hmm. What could a functional Blastia be doing here? It appears that someone's left the town. Estelle, where. Wait, and where'd the old man go? Huh? You don't think both of them use this? What do you mean? Hmm, the Blastia in our towns should have all lost their cores back in ancient time. A core was probably brought in from outside the town. It should require adjustment to function properly, but Estelle's an exception to the rules. If she can interact directly with air... But why would she... Elder, could you get everyone to help us search to see if our friend... Hmm. Let's look for them, too. I never should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. 
You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. Do you think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? Don't make me start questioning your loyalties, Raven. As you thought, the two of them are nowhere to be found. I wonder what could have happened to them. Anyway, let's get back to the surface and look for them. But even if we do, the world's a big place. It's reckless to just go searching blindly. Perhaps the two of them went on a walk. A walk that involves leaving the town without saying anything to us? Not a chance. Well? Only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. And words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Out. Ah, well. Just when things were getting good. Just who are you, anyway? <laughs> I can't believe I... I've got a bad feeling about this. Hurry! We... I understand how you're feeling. What? Are you... Of course I'm worried. That's why... Oh, right. Yeah, I see. I Got any ideas? Ah, yes. The master of... He's an Entelikea after all. M Did you hear it? Could you... T to the west. A sea of sand. A town? It's not too clear, but a desert town. Uh That's the town in the sands of Kagor, where we met Duke before. The sands? Why would they go to a place in the middle of nowhere? Let's head there now. You're leaving, then? I am. You don't need to shoulder such a burden. Haven't you suffered enough? Thank you, Elder. But I'm not suff- Hmm. Hmm. If you went into- What's happening? What's going on? This didn't just happen in a few days. This is like hundreds of years. Maybe there was a huge fire that... Quiet. Duke. This could be our clue about the Rizomato formula. That's the dragon from the Weezen of Kados. He's traveling with Duke, huh? I've got questions for that guy, but... They got away. Huh? 
There's no time. This isn't what I would have chosen, but so be it. Alexei, what are you doing here? Ah, looking for the princess? Huh? Do you know where Estelle is? What do you think you're doing? Is this your idea of a joke, Commandant? I am at a loss as to how to thank you. Your pitiful sense of justice has allowed me to work with little interruption. Long ago, there was the pirate Eifried. And now we have the likes of Barbos and Rago. They were each of use in their own fashion, but you have performed magnificent work, far surpassing theirs. You're some of the most talented and foolish performers I've seen. What? However, the time for fooling around is over. It is time for you to exit the stage. So that's it, huh? It was you pulling everybody's strings all this time. Well, I'm not laughing, Alexei. Commandant! <laughs> and yet... Flynn! Commandant! How could you? You're the pride of the Imperial Knights. How could you commit treason? This is not treason. I am merely following the path of one who holds true authority. And you just intend to betray the trust of his... His Highness. Yes. I think he'll be relinquishing his rank soon. This is madness. My lord, all is in readiness. Jaeger! Well done. I am headed for Bactian as planned. I will leave this situation to you, and Yoder's fate as well. Yeah, you bet, my lord. Alexei, wait! Who said you could leave? Stand back. If you try to stop us, get the hell out of the way! Your princess friend is at the shrine of Bactian as well, you know. What did you say? You'll be too late if you don't hurry! Oh, go after Alexei and Jaeger. Sir! Alexei! Yuri, come on! Yuri? Yuri Lowell, give yourself... The Shrine of Bactian is said to be located on the Hypionian continent. Hypionia? The continent east of Desier. The Egathor Forest is there. Are we actually gonna trust what Jaeger said? If that's where Alexei is headed, then Estelle's gotta be there. We don't have much information, so I guess we'll just have to go check it out. I... We can... What's the matter, Patty? Actually, come to think of it, didn't he say something about Ivory? That man is the cause of it all. But what about Raven? I'll bet he delivered Estelle to them and then just took off! No... Well, the facts are that she's been kidnapped and he's nowhere to be seen. I mean, that's only... It's possible he was captured as well. Well, whatever. Let's get going. Yuri? Yuri. Flynn. A word? Very well. Just what the hell are you doing? What happened to advancing as a knight and fixing the Empire from within? You've been nothing more than a damn puppet on Alexei's string. Don't you dare tell me that the Dawn and Bellius died for nothing more than that. He was there working alongside you this whole time, Flynn. How could you possibly not know? I'm sorry. Why, though? Did you go along with it because Yoder trusted Alexei? His Highness is not to blame. I had total confidence in Alexei. The responsibility is mine. So your pursuit of the Abathea at Nordopolica was on Alexei's orders, I presume? Yeah. You'd better start talking. Tell me what happened. There's no reason to worry about exposing the Commandant now. The conversion of Heliord into a military installation. The abuse all of Cumor's activities. The forbidden development of New Blastia. All of these were carried out under the Commandant's... under elect. Well, you've grown up to be a model knight. Unquestioned allegiance to your country. The Commandant... Alexei was not always this way. You of all people should remember. Those who are just will lead lives of prosperity. That was the... that was why I... But all it's done for you is help you lose sight of your original intentions. <clears throat> not that I have much right to preach to you, after I let them run off with Estelle like that. No. That never would have happened if I hadn't been blind to- I had grown far too used to simply obeying orders like a good knight. It was my lack of thought- Since when is moaning and whining part of a knight's job description? You impudent- No. It is as she says. I must shoulder this responsibility. It is up to me to rescue Lady- Whoa! Captain, 
What should be done about His Highness? If anything were to happen to him, the... I know. That's why this brigade is concentrating all our efforts on ensuring... But, Captain... Please. Hmm. Damn it, Flynn. I didn't yell at you to have you turn around. Brave Vesperia is going to... Then let me join... Captain? A knight joining a guild? I was unable to prevent... I am duty-bound to correct this wrong by saving... Give it up. You know you... But if you want to come with us, I won't... Yuri! But you know what you have to do, right? As soon as we've rescued Her Highness, I, I cannot allow the Empire to be thrown into disorder. I'm sorry, Sodia, Witcher. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please tell His Highness the same. Understood. <sighs> Yuri. Thanks. Same here. You had me worried there. It's good to see... Alexei. So he's the one who's been advancing Hermes Blastia technology. Yeah, it's taken a while, but everything points back to him. All right, next stop, the Shrine of Bactian. We're gonna get Estelle and Raven out of there and show Alexei just who he's messing with. Agreed. Yeah. Just who does that idiot Commandant think he is? Barbos, Rago, even Jaeger. Alexei was behind all of them. And now he's taken Estelle! I won't let him do this! I am gonna rip him to shreds the moment we get Estelle away from him! He must receive his due punishment. We can't let him get away. Treating Lady Esteles in that manner, Alexei is no longer the man I trusted. He's evil. That's all there is to it. And he will not change. It's time for some payback. when we fell into the sands of Kagor. You mean the monster we ran into in Kados? Not a monster, an Entelikea. It must have altered the air at the Lees end of Kados. I think I saw it before I passed out in the desert. Do you think that Entelikea is friendly to humans? It's the same as Baul and Belius. Entelikea can use language so we can befriend them. Right. Looks like the battle against you is over, Flynn. 
So when did you become aware of Alexei's rebellion? I've held doubts about the Commandant's orders for a while. After Yuri warned me in Nordopolica, I reconsidered previous events in a new light. And you understood Alexei was pulling the strings in the incidents with Barbos, Rago, and Q Moore. When I heard Lady Esteles was being held, I was certain. I only wish I had realized sooner. Even so, you unraveled his plot on your own. We still have time. We'll get Estelle back. Right. Patty, isn't it? Will you aid us in our mission to rescue Lady Esteles? Do you even need to ask? We'll put an end to Alexei's scheme. Please. Did Alexei send for it? That's the Entelikea Astal. Alexei is still trying to get Apatheia, it seems. It looked like it got away, though. Yeah, it looked like it was forced into those ruins. Those ruins definitely appear to be the Temple Bactian. I wonder what Alexei's plotting this time. <sighs> it doesn't matter what Alexei's planning. Right. We're just here to rescue Estelle. But if we get too close like this, we'll end up like Astal. Let's land a little bit away from it and approach on the ground. Alexei! Jaeger, that useless worm. Can't he even swat a few pesky flies? Alexei, what have you done to Lady Esteles? Give Estelle back! Estelle, come on! No matter. As you can see, the princess's life will fail. If you care for her, then do not interfere further. <laughs> Alexei, you bastard! Captain, are you okay? Captain! Sodia? After we left, we picked up the Heracles' movement. Prince Yoder dispatched us. That little prince never could mind his own damn business. Well, what about you and all that pathetic bluster and bravado? Sorry, but unlike you well-bred aristocrats, I'm not perfect. Hey, you guys all right? Oh. They came to save us. Apparently Yoder told them to. Alexei's inside the temple! Captain, please come with us and return to His Highness's side at once! Sodia? It is difficult for me to say the one we most need to protect for the sake of the Empire right now is Prit. I know that. I know that, as a knight, 
That is what I should be doing. I know that all too well. Then... But this is something I need to do myself. Please, let... But... Take us there. It must be pretty damn inconvenient to be a knight. How can someone like you... How can the captain possibly consider someone like you his friend? Our captain is the ideal to which we all aspire. He's the epitome of an Imperial Knight, and yet, for some reason, when he's with you, he's not himself. Just like this last time. Whatever. If you're looking for someone to have a heart-to-heart -heart with, go bug Applehead over here. We don't have time to sit around and play guidance counselor for you. A Applehead? That's it! Sodia! Listen well. Your very existence is hurting our captain. Stay away from him! She's pretty intense. All right, now we ask that you please take care of the captain. Platoon, fall out! We must hurry to rejoin the brigade! Yuri! Come on, we have to catch up with Flynn. Right. If she's forced to use her power, then it'll be too late to save her or fix the air. That bastard! Using her like some kind of tool! He's gonna pay! Come on! If we don't go after Alexei, that Antilochia we saw is going to wind up in Apatheia. Even from this far away, Astal's wounds look terrible. He might not hold out much longer. I guess not even the Antilochia are a match for Heracles. Maybe that was Alexei's reason for building it in the first place. Naturally. There's no way he'd need something that powerful just to take care of the guilds. Whatever the case, we have to catch Alexei and stop him before it's too late for Astal. Thank you.